What's up you guys? Okay, I'm super excited for this live. I know I hardly ever go live in the right in the middle of the day, so I'm sure that many of you guys will catch this on a replay, those of y'all who work full time and all of that. I have a really special guest that I wanna introduce to you on this video. I'm super excited to do this with her. Um, I actually met Christy about, oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna say I think like eight years ago. It may be even more than that. Um, we actually met in a Zumba class. Okay, so while I'm waiting for her to get on, I want to share with you, I am so excited for this because um, she and I met in a Zumba class, and those of you who know me know I love me some, some Zumba. Um, Christy, it says that I can't, oh, there you are. Okay, yay technology. Facebook is always changing. When I first went live, you know how it shows you, um, hey, hey. Hi. Oh my gosh, I love your hair. You've got like a, oh my gosh. Eight inches so cut. See, <laughs> I love it. Um, so those of you who know, I, I usually go uh, Facebook live in the evenings and it always tells me like how many people are on live, like they're on Facebook and y'all like just now it said that over 4,000 of you were on Facebook right now and I highly doubt it. So Facebook is super wonky sometimes. There's always weird new things that they're adding, new technology and all of that. So Christy and I were like getting ready beforehand going like, listen, like sometimes Facebook does not cooperate and do what we want it to do, but it did on our first try. Yeah, girl. Hi. <laughs> That's awesome. So I'm excited to introduce you guys to Christy Ingstrom. And um, we met a million years ago. It seems like a whole another chapter of my life, seriously, but I used to go to a gym and I used to go to Zumba class. Um, Oh my gosh, I was like a groupie, seriously, with these Zumba <laughs> We <classes>. both were. <laughs> it, was, it was so freaking fun. And um, so I used to go to like different instructors at multiple gyms. Yeah, I was an addict. Um, and I wish they had Zumba out here. I live in a tiny little lake town. They're all like mostly retirement age. And so there's not Zumba around here. Um, anyway, so Christy and I met at Zumba and we connected on Facebook. Um, and we've kept in touch over the years and she's had some really exciting things going on in her life. Um, over the past couple of years, she actually got certified as a nutritionist, a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner. Yes. Right. Yes. Dude, I nailed it. It's I a mouthful. That up and get, it is, it's <laughs> a mouthful. She's super smart. She has so much knowledge. And we were chatting the other day about gut health because it's like a big issue for a lot of people where they're super tired, they're drained, the scale isn't moving. They, even though they go to the gym and they feel like they eat right, the scale doesn't move, their weight is really stubborn, they've got this brain fog, they can't think clearly. And then like it develops into like immune issues. They feel like, oh, I'm always sick, I'm always tired. And we were chatting about that a couple of days ago. And she is so, so well-versed in gut health. Did y'all know that your gut is your second brain? Oh, I've got knows, like, such good information stuff. about that. Um, so I'm going to end. I just want to turn this over to her and, like, basically interview her because – First of all, y'all, I mean, whatever phase of life, whatever age you are, you need this information. I didn't learn this until really just a couple of years ago. Um, and so this is going to help you no matter what phase of life you're in. So hit the share button if you think this could be valuable for your friends to learn about too, if they want some tips on how to feel better. Um, but Chrissy, first of all, what the heck is a functional diagnostic <laughs> nutrition pr practitioner? <laughs> <laughs> Besides being start. a mouthful. <laughs> um, so I'm so glad you asked because it's actually a very um, relatively new um, niche, if you will, within the functional health realm. So um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. But what I'm able to do is um, run functional diagnostic labs. So that's where kind of the function and the diagnostic comes in. Um, and the nutrition plays a really, really huge part of it. So I identify areas in the body that need some coaching up. Um, and everybody has this stigma attached to supplements. Supplements are not a bad thing. Like they are a, um, a necessity and sometimes very, um, I, don't, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go as far as life-saving, but um, things that we do just everyday lives, which I'm going to touch on depletes our nutrients in our body. And we don't even realize it. We're not being educated. So, um, and, and actually the definition of a doctor, it 
comes from a Latin term. It means to teach and to educate. Mm. We're not getting educated. No offense to the doctors. They're much needed. Western medicine is much needed. But in this arena that I have stepped into, um, I've got such a burning passion for, um, I want to educate people um, about, you know, just listening to their bodies and um, identifying areas where we can focus and heal because our body has an, um, the innate knowledge of what it's supposed to do. Every cell is pre-programmed to know what it's supposed to do. And when one thing kind of starts to misbehave, it's like hurting kittens, seriously, <laughs> inside our body. Like all of the little hormones are going to go to where one hormone is misbehaving. And once you kind of pivot and shift and identify those areas that are misbehaving, um, everything kind of starts to fall back into place in a reverse effect, if that makes sense. So um, it's really cool. And like every lab that you can think of that you could run through a regular doctor, um, I can run as well. But we take the numbers and we narrow them down into a more strict window of um, values that have been taken from thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of people that are functioning normally. Um, and I'll just disclose right now, I'm totally not normal. And I mean that in every sense of the word. Um, but you want, when you're looking at your lab values, you want to be inclusive of normal values, not the ones that are taken from Western medicine where there's such a broad, big, open, forgiving window because it's taken from people that are also not functioning at a healthy level. So that's kind of what FDN is. We have more narrow ranges. Um, we're super strict on what those should look like and identifying areas that need some coaching. So, and a lot of it goes back to the gut and the brain, which is why I love being on here talking to you. That's, so, <laughs> so that's me. I mean, I mean, here's the thing. So like a lot of people just go through like, this was literally me a few years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I worked a lot. I was always mm -hmm. on the phone. I always had to be on, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like mm -hmm. on the phone, I was in sales. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and for a long time, I, you know, I was approaching 40 a few years ago. I'm 43 now, but I was approaching 40 and I just kind of was in that whole mindset. Like I'm sure a lot of you guys watching are, of just, well, I'm approaching 40, you're supposed to be tired and slow uh, and cranky and no. not, you know, like brain fog, hashtag mom brain, hashtag uh, mom life, like preach that's it. glamorized, right? And we're supposed and to just accept that. Yes, and I did no. for a really long time. Meanwhile, I was drinking literally five to six cups of coffee in the morning before noon, like right. Eight. Um, tons Guilty. of diet cokes, caffeine, carbs, sugar, anything just to make my neurons start firing. Right, <laughs> and I, because I really thought that's just what you do when you become an adult. Mm -hmm. You right? Um, right, and I went through that for a long, long time, thinking that was just my my new normal. So. How, how can people who are feeling that like low energy, you know, just that mom, mom brain or dad brain, um, being super busy, always sore, not sleeping very well. Um, what are some things that like, what are some things that they need to take a look at? Like if there was like a self audit, mm -hmm. I know I didn't like prep you for this, at all, but if yeah. there was like a self audit kind of That's thing, That's a good question. What yeah. are things that they can do to make them realize, oh, maybe this isn't my normal and I can change this. Well, okay, so great question. Um, and that goes back to this, me being an FDN. So anytime you have a, quote, symptom, that is your body's way of communicating with you that something is not right. Something is not functioning. It's misbehaving. So if you're tired, like let's, let's take me, for example. Um, I ran diagnostic labs on myself. Um, and so I'm a personal trainer as well. And so if you were going to ju judge this book by the cover, you're like, oh, my gosh, she is in fantastic health. She looks great. Um, I'm 46 years old. My husband travels pretty much all the time. He's gone now. Um, so, you know, it's the burning the candle at both ends. Mm -hmm. So when I ran my labs, you need cortisol to survive. Okay, everybody's heard about cortisol and um, adrenal fatigue. Um, it's all so everything is interconnected. So if you're waking up tired like I was, my lab showed that I am tanked out in the morning with my cortisol. I am like in the negative by like 45%. Wow. And that's when you're supposed to be your highest. So, um, and then you're, it, it sets your circadian rhythm. So I've got all of these, I've had all of these um, symptoms that my, my body was screaming at me, like pay attention, pay attention. And 
like everybody else, we're busy. We just kind of scoot it underneath the rug. We drink our coffee to get us up and going. Um, and then, you know, you, you may need to supplement at night because you're wired at night, right? That was me because everything was just, I, I am so completely backwards of what I'm supposed to be, but Hey, that was my normal. That was my normal. So when you have anything going on, if you're noticing, like I am crashing at two o'clock, hello, there's your sign. Your body is telling you something is not functioning. So, um, I would recommend, um, you know, go to a functional health doctor, contact me. I can work with anybody, anywhere, in any state, any country, even. I yeah. facilitate labs to be sent to them. So it's just listen to your body mm -hmm. um, because something's not right if you have any symptom whatsoever. Any symptom. Tired, yeah. not sleeping, um, brain fog, the mental focus. All of those are symptoms of something in your body misbehaving. And it's not normal. Like y'all, no. come on. If you're in your 30s, 40s, I don't care if you're in mm -mm. your 70s, mm -mm. feeling worn out all the freaking time. Now, of course, like hormones play a part in this. Stress plays a part in this. So Absolutely. every once in a while, okay, those things are going to override whatever you're doing. Your body is a miracle. It knows right. what it needs. And if your body needs rest, it's going to tell you to rest. But if you've been needing rest, like from your early twenties into your mid forties. And that's just, you know, hashtag your life now. That's, mm -hmm. that's not normal. That's not And we shouldn't have to accept to that. Right. We shouldn't have to accept that. Like that's, that, that is not normal. Um, but it's I glamorized see... nowadays. It's glamorized it's, on social oh, yeah. media and like, Oh, no talkie before coffee. And it's I like know. a fun thing to be like a part of a tribe that's always tired and cranky and like, Y'all, that's that. But I mean, I'm, I'm speaking from experience because that was truly my life. And here's the thing, I mean, me Christy, too. and this is what I wanted to ask you too, is that I had taken supplements um, for years, 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 years. Part of what I did as part of my former career was to work with women um, and men, of course, but who, especially in the direct sales space, like there's a lot of supplements, there's a lot of nutrition out there. Um, even the gym that we met at, the gym that we went to, um, we would go to lunch sometimes in the little cafe and they would mm -hmm. have a wall of supplements. So I am, I am not new to the supplement world. However, I've always taken supplements for honestly, just because like, hello, you're an adult, you know, you need to supplement, right? <laughs> right. Like you, yeah. that's kind of a duh thing. You know, yeah. you need to supplement because you're not getting the nutrients out of the food that you eat, the head of broccoli that's sold in the organic aisle today in the grocery store is not the same nutrient dense broccoli mm -mm. that your grand great great grandparents had mm -mm. on their farm the soil mm -mm. is different the air is different the water is mm -hmm. different everything is different it's not you need supplements you y'all you're all adults on this facebook you you all know that hopefully um so i knew i i'm a grown-up I have to take supplements. <laughs> the problem is that I would take supplements and it was really annoying because it would always feel like a waste of money. I'll just be honest because I was still feeling tired, worn out, cranky, moody. Um, my skin, like I would have hormonal breakouts. I used to think there were hormonal breakouts um, all around my jawline um, and stuff like that. So what, what would you advise to people as far as like and how it relates to gut health? If they're already taking supplements, but like they're, they're still feeling blah, mm -hmm. is it like an absorption issue? Oh. I mean, what, like talk about yeah. that. Cause okay. I, oh, this is so cool. Okay. I'm totally going to geek out for a second. Out. I'm it. totally <laughs> sorry. I'm totally going to geek out. Okay. So you mentioned at the beginning, um, that our gut is our second brain. Like, it really is our second brain. And a lot of people don't know why. Do you know why it's called the second brain? Like most people don't know, right? Okay. It doesn't do so, math for you, so no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I got my statistics written down. So from the, oh base of our, from the base of our esophagus down through our entire digestive tract, there is a vast network of nerve cells, okay? And this is why it's called the second brain because those nerve cells in number equal the spinal cord. Okay. Take that in. The number of cells from the end of our digestive tract, I mean, from the end of our esophagus through the entire digestive tract, that includes the stomach, small intestine, large intestine. There's a vast network of nerve cells, nerve neurotransmitters, okay, brain, 
that's our big brain, um, the number of those nerve cells equal what's in our spinal cord, okay? The only, um, they're, they're second to our brain. So our brain has more of the nerve cells because that's our first brain, okay? Second brain, gut. Right. Mind blown. <laughs> that's why it's our second brain. Like, it's, it, it really, really is. So when there's something off in your gut, little fact, eight out of ten people don't know this, but they have leaky gut. Leaky gut, wow. leaky gut. So leaky gut happens when your cells, which are supposed to be really tight like this, get opened up a little bit. And now you've got healthy food um, proteins, like say like an avocado is supposed to be broken down into a micronutrient. Well, if it's not, and it's still a macro and it's big, it's getting into your bloodstream and your body identifies it as a foreign alien bad object, okay? So you can be eating, it's crazy. So you can be eating completely really good food, um, not processed, whole organic food. You want to do organic because everything is sprayed with glyphos um, glyphosate, which is Roundup. And it's even, it can be even in your water. Okay? So it, don't even get me started on that. So, yeah. <laughs> That's a whole um, other video, people. <laughs> right? Um, and so, like, I have leaky gut. And I was, you know... That was my normal with all of my symptoms that my body was screaming at me about. Um, you know, it's like this big aha moment when I did these lab tests to see, oh my gosh, you know, I've been eating so good. Not only do you, will you um, have some symptoms and everybody's different, um, but it affects the rate of absorption. So you can be eating really good stuff and not absorbing. So you've got all of this um, surface area that absorbs and all these nutrients diffuse into your, into your body. Um, but if you've got leaky gut and what's called, I'm going, I'm geeking out again. Um, it's called a blunted brush border. But if you've got this going on, you can be doing your best in eating really, really good and you're not absorbing it. So um, if you've ever been on antibiotics, how many times have you been on an antibiotic? Oh my gosh. From Too many to count? You're a toddler. What? Yeah. Okay, so it can take up to two years to baby your, the gut's called the microbiome because you've got good bugs and bad bugs. It kills off the good bugs. And then you've got the, all these bad bugs that literally send a signal up to your brain, like feed me, see more, the, the bad stuff, like the processed um, carbs, the sugars, all the stuff that's bad. That's what the bad bacteria feed off of. So those that are really struggling, struggling with, um, food cravings, there's a reason like your gut is off. You have to feed your gut the good stuff. Hmm. Um, let's talk birth control pills right quick for the ladies. Okay. Um, this is my soapbox right now because this is a personal issue with me. Um, if you've been on birth control pills, let me just list off everything that you need to supplement with. You ready for this? Oh my gosh. Okay. Listen to this folic acid. Magnesium, selenium, vitamins B6, B12, um, B2. And, and also, if you're on metformin, which is um, a drug used for diabetes type 2, metformin depletes B12, okay? Vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, and CoQ10. So this little thing right here, mm -hmm. okay, it, it's diffusing into my skin, into my bloodstream through blood vessels, all of these nutrients, every single one of those that I just lift, listed off is being diffused into my body for as long wow. as I have this on. That's huge. And how many, how many people know or who have taken birth control pills and d they don't know that these nutrients are being depleted, which yeah. you've got nutrient deficiencies. And then let's pair that with leaky gut. Let's say, I, right. you know, if I was taking a pill, I've got leaky gut. I'm not going to absorb that. I'm eating really good wow. food. I'm not going to absorb that. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's, it's this vicious circle. So your gut so, and brain are always communicating. So what, let's talk about that patch for a minute because <clears throat> I actually have, I, I have it too. There's different kinds. I wear mine. Um, you can wear it all different parts of your body. But yeah. What I like about it is that a friend of mine was actually saying how, um, they're also a nutritionist, um, a different space than you mm -hmm. are, but she, she's right. a nutritionist. And she was saying, it's actually a big deal to have different uh, delivery methods for mm -hmm. your supplements for, for 
any supplements that you're taking, quite frankly, it's not just yep. like you can take a handful of pills um, and it's going to do everything that your body needs it to do, depending on what you've done to your body. I mean, you're talking also decades of how you've been eating, decades oh. of medications, of, of hormonal imbalances, all that kind of stuff. And yep. so obviously taking a handful of pills for a few weeks is probably not going to solve all your problems very mm -mm. quickly. This is a mm -mm. consistency thing, but mm -hmm. it also matters in that what you're taking. So like as far as the delivery method, what she was saying was that um, the supplements that you're currently recommending to your clients, there's, there's a formula, okay, specifically designed for absorption, which we talk about a lot. Because when you're talking about your digestive system and your gut, absorption is a huge thing. If you're taking supplements and you're not absorbing them, you're literally, literally throwing money down the toilet because you're going to pee it out. Exactly. <laughs> like, I mean, let's just pretty be real. fast. Yeah. Um, and, and that would, that seriously is what's happening. And that's honestly what I feel like ha was happening to me several years ago before I found those supplements, because mm -hmm. I was taking so many things. I mean, I was even spending upwards of $350 a month on supplements from a very well-known brand. And mm -hmm. I, I didn't feel any different. I didn't feel better. I did not, I literally did not feel better. Um, and so that patch that she was talking about, my other friend who's a nutritionist was explaining gently, but I, I want you to talk about it too, of like, it bypasses the digestive system. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about gut health, the minerals and the nutrients that are going in through your skin, it's the largest organ of your body. What, mm -hmm. why is that? Why is that important to have like deli different delivery methods in terms of absorption? And yeah. why is bypassing the digestive system important to heal your digestive system? I mean, <laughs> it's kind of like talking about mind blowing. I like, know why, it's so cool. That? I know, don't you yes. geek out? I'm not thinking. Oh, out, like, I love friend. geeking out. <laughs> Ask my husband. He's like, seriously, nobody wants to hear that. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but when you're passionate, like this is what I do. This is this is my passion. It's like educating yeah. people because um we're but just, you make it in such an easy way for people to understand. That's why I like about I try. you. And that's what I like about like the products that you're recommending to your clients. Like your clients are not nutritionists. They don't understand no. all this stuff and they can't keep up with 4,000 steps per day. So like uh, talk about those, the formula and like why do delivery methods and all that kind right. of stuff. Why, um, why does that even matter? So interesting point. I was talking to um, my best friend last night that I've known since second grade. And I think I saw her daughter on here. Um, her name is Beth. And, um, she's had, um, some, some health issues and her, um, her stomach does not digest the way that it used to. Um, so if you're not, if you're, if, if your digestive system is not, um, able to absorb all the nutrients that it needs as it's designed to do, think of, um, Let's see. Think. Uh, okay. So my fingers. Okay. Those are called microvilli in your stomach. So what blunted brush border is, is you basically go through and you cut off all these little microvilli, all these little fingers that are grabbing the nutrients out of your body that you're putting through your mouth. So once those get cut off, your nutrient absorption rate goes down tremendously. So you, you've got to attack this at different angles. So you need to um, be drinking your water, drink, um, drink your shake. Um, because you're still going to get the digestive enzymes that your body needs to be able to absorb the organic food that you're going to later be putting into it. So, um, by having something on your skin, um, insert, uh, the nicotine patch, there's a reason why it is a patch and not a mm -hmm. pill because it's being absorbed through your blood vessels into directly into your bloodstream. And that's why also um, people who are, um, and this is me, who are really into what are you putting on your skin because it is the largest organ of your body, um, it does get into your bloodstream. So right. parabens, stay away from the parabens. Yeah. You know, watch out with your deodorant. If you have a family history of, of breast cancer, be aware of the aluminum that's in your deodorant. Um, so, but it's just really, really cool. Like these, um, three stops, um, that you, that you're taking throughout the day, um, is going to, um, nurture your gut in three different ways. So yeah. if it's not being attacked through, um, you know, the first step, then you have the second step and then you have the third step. 
And yeah. the fact of the matter is, it's so easy. And, you know, I was a, I, I still am a personal trainer. Um, and I'm a mom. And I'm an FDN. And I'm the wife of a very busy traveling husband. So I don't have a whole lot of time throughout the day to be setting timers and provided that I'm at home even, um, to be like, okay, now I need to do this. Oh shoot. And now I need to do this before lunch. And, oh, I don't even know when lunch is going to be. I mean, a lot of times I'm standing when I eat lunch. So, um, just for everybody that is so busy, it's got to be easy and you've got to get it done. Like first thing in the morning and not have it be this agonizing drawn out process throughout the day. That's been my experience. And that's why I think um, this is um, successful because it's yeah. easy to do and you're able, you've got three different avenues of addressing your gut. And one of the things that I recommend to my clients, including myself, um, that have leaky gut, you need um, uh, glu glucosamine or glu um, glutamine mm. to help heal the gut, which is in the ingredients. So there's right. so many things that are listed on that label that your gut needs and it like, They've even, oh my gosh, mind blown. They've um, correlated some gut issues with Alzheimer's disease and ALS. It's no crazy. Yes, wow. yes. And I won't even get into that because that's a whole different story. But like <laughs> you're, the, the gut is not something to be taken lightly. So um, TMI alert, if you're not pooping every day, hello, that's your sign. Something, something yeah. is off. Like you got to pay attention and take a step back. And it's worth the investment now to take care of yourself because if you don't, you're going to pay for it later. later because yeah. your body's not your body's going to start breaking down. It's not going to work for you later. You're going to be spending all your money at doctor's visits. And literally, um, not to say that you know pharmaceuticals are not a necessity. They can be life saving, but we need to go in and find some um, root issues to why you're having the symptoms that you're having. Um, right. And a lot of times it just goes back to the gut, like take care of your gut, quit, quit eating the processed foods, put the good stuff in, supplement yeah. your diet. Because like you said, we're not getting the supplements that we need through our food. Like it's a joke. Like you need, I think it's like 10 cups of spinach to equal one right. cup back with our grandparents. Like it's insane. Like I can't, you know, that's you a lot of spinach. That much. Even if you have a no. huge appetite, you right? are not, you're not physically able to eat. Yeah as much as you need to eat, yes. you have to supplement. I mean, that's what we were saying at the beginning of the video. If you're just now yeah. coming on board, like you, you need to go back to the beginning of the video because seriously, yeah. you think you're eating great broccoli. It is still not good enough. You have right. to take supplements. But if you are like for me and you're a personal trainer, so you probably see this probably more than anybody, but consistency is a big deal, you guys. So like you can't mm -hmm. just take supplements um, a couple times a week. You can't just take supplements, mm -hmm. you know, when you feel like it, when you remember it and, you know, oh, I'll just do it for a few months because I'm getting ready for summer. And then, oh, I haven't taken them for a while, but gosh, why am I so tired? And why can't I think clearly? Why am I gaining weight again? Mm -hmm. Listen, as a personal trainer, I'm going to say one word that's probably going to trigger you. Oh, and boy. that word is consistency. Absolutely. So this is like, if you're busy and you're like, I'll have time for that. Like I, the supplement program that I was taking before I found this one that she's recommending to her clients is, um, literally what you were describing. Like you have to take a couple things in the morning and 35 minutes, 30 minutes before lunch and then 45 minutes after dinner and then right before mm -hmm. bed. And then every mm -hmm. like two days out of the week, you have to do this, this, and this. And it was like, dude, I'm, I don't have time for that. So what I really like as, as a non nutritionist, as a non, I'm just a normal Joe Schmo. Okay. What I like about this program that she recommends is that it is literally, there's a capsule. There's, there's capsules that you take first thing in the morning. Okay. And so it's on an empty stomach. That's also very That's so important. important on an empty stomach and yes. there's prebiotics and probiotics and active digestive enzymes in this. So when you take this on an empty stomach, it literally, it's like, it's like the, it's the Marine Corps. Okay. My husband's a Marine. Marine. It's the <laughs> Marine Corps of the supplements because yes. it's going in first front line. It's going in first and it is literally going to pave the way. It's going to prepare your digestive system for whatever comes next, whether that's healthy organic foods or in our case, what she's recommending is this shake mix, which mm -hmm. also has prebiotics and all of those ingredients that she was like listing off is you need this, you need this. If, if you have this issue, you need this. 
it's like all in here um and they're really delicious there's five different flavors so like if you have texture issues or you don't like yucky tasting shakes there's a lot of yucky tasting shakes out yeah. there in the world um these are really good so for normal people like me who can just wake up take a couple capsules you know 20 or 30 minutes later drink a really delicious yummy filling shake that actually tastes good Mm -hmm. And then slap on a patch mm -hmm. and then be done. I can live my life. I can live my life. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to do anything else. That for the normal person, um, I can do that every day. Right. I can stay consistent with that every day. And so like as a personal trainer and as a nutritionist, you can teach all this stuff to your blue in the face. You can teach them workout moves. You can hold classes. But if someone is not consistent, what happens? Like that's you, probably like, yeah. the, the bane of your existence is like consistency. <laughs> consistency. Well, and uh, quite honestly, and I, I tell all of my clients um, from a personal training standpoint that, you know, I, I can kick your butt up and down to the point where I've actually had people throw up. Can't say that I'm too proud of that, but kind of, sorry, sorry, are. not yeah. sorry. <laughs> uh, but like you can totally derail yourself if you're eating, I call it crap. And it's an, it's an acronym. So the C is like the carbonated drinks, like your colas. Um, R is refined foods. A is alcohol and artificial, artificial sweeteners. Um, and P is processed food. So it's literally crap. Um, the American diet is crap. It's called SAD. It's called SAD. It's the SAD diet, standard American diet. So, um, wow. right. And it's SAD because that's why we are where we are. And like our food pyramid yeah. is needs to be flipped upside down. Yeah. Um, so I, I totally just digressed off of that and I lost my train of thought, but, um, consistency, consistency. consistency. I mean, yes. It has to be simple y'all. If yes. you get on a regimen and you go to a nutritionist, let's just say, and they put you on all of this stuff and this huge regimen and they give you this giant list of supplements that you're like walking home from Walgreens with like a giant thing. Like I've been there. Yeah. I mean, I've seen people. I think everybody has. Counters with yeah. like they open their cabinets and it's full of it's whatever. It's like falling out. <laughs> and they still feel like garbage. They still mm -hmm. feel tired. I mean, and here's the thing. When you're, you know, when you're tired already and it's not working and you have to take like nine million million things and like, caffeine you're not you're not going to be consistent with it because it sucks mm -mm. like it's mm -mm. not it's not paying off when you take like literally you wake up in the morning and you take a couple things and slap on a patch and it's actually kind of fun to do and there's a whole community around it and it's like mm -hmm. yeah we're all a part of this it, it first of all it just works I, I don't care like forget the community forget how good it tastes it freaking works 10 to 14 mm -hmm. days on this product that she's recommending it you guys you're gonna feel it so when you feel it, your brain is going to start associating, hey, if I take that, I feel better, right? And all of a sudden now you're going to wake up like I wake up and I want it. I crave it because mm -hmm. I know the way it makes me feel. Um, so I just, I love that side of it, that it's just, it makes it so easy. You explain things so easily. This product is so easy and it's literally designed for anybody. Um, and, and it's just, safe for diabetics. Yes, like diabetic friendly, yeah, which is really important. That's a lot of absolutely. And concern. you know, you also mentioned about taking other stuff that you you never felt a difference. I want to touch on that for just a second because you know, there's some people. It depends upon how toxic your body is. Like most of my clients, I hammer them pretty hard about their diet. Um, mm -hmm. Talking about just our regular population that's so busy and going through drive-throughs. Um, if your body is, is pretty toxic, you will feel like some rainbows and unicorns, you know, I would say about two weeks. Like you, yeah. you've got to give your body a chance to figure out what to do with the stuff that it's receiving. Um, but if you're one of these people that um, y your diet is pretty good um, and you're eating the organic and you're staying away from the crap, mm -hmm. um, you may not have the rainbows and unicorns feeling, but I like to compare that um, to taking something like a pharmaceutical um, let's say that you present to your doctor um, and you go have lab work drawn and let's say your cholesterol is high and they want to put you on Lipitor. Don't do that, first of all. But <laughs> if you take that, whatever, whatever pharmaceutical it is, you're not going to ingest that and say, ooh, I feel so good. I can just tell I took my Lipitor, right? So give your, give your body some grace because depending upon what hidden stressors you have in your body, and hidden can be your leaky gut, 
um, I mean, just like me, leaky gut and all this other stuff that's totally whacked out that I'm working on, um, it may take a while for you to start feeling something. And then once you do, and it might be just kind of gradual, um, don't confuse your um, <laughs> feeling better with a plateau. It's your yeah. new normal. And it's right. a good new normal. Like, this doesn't just stop working. Your body needs these nutrients. So know that this is being diffused into your bloodstream. It's working. It's giving your body the things that it needs. Right. And it's not necessarily going to be this, oh, I feel so awesome. <laughs> right. you know, but some people do depend upon yeah. how toxic you are. And like for me, I needed like three cups of coffee, coffee to get going in the morning. I can't tell you the last time I've had coffee to get going. Right. Like I like the smell of it, and sometimes right. I, I'll treat myself with it, yep. but I don't need it anymore. it's not anymore. necessary. It's not like, a to necessity. Be a nice human or to Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, I mean, that, that's huge. That's my new normal, you know? So, is it, it, yes, it's, it's still working because I don't feel the need to have a, a, a nap anymore. Right. I've got a girlfriend who has um, Hashimoto's, which is a thyroid issue. Um, she got on um, this product and um, she tested it. She went on and off. When she was on, she didn't need to take a nap. That's huge. Mm -hmm. When she got off, the very next day, she was exhausted and needed to take a nap. Huge. So it's a matter huge. of like, obviously, we can't make medical claims and say if you have absolutely this issue, not, it's going to nope. help that. But <clears throat> nope. some of the things that you're experiencing, if you do have certain issues, um, like leaky gut, Hashimoto's, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, those are things, obviously, you need to ask your doctor about. But Absolutely. just know that sometimes doctors aren't, aren't, aren't well-versed in nutrition. No. That's well, they not don't have really time. something that they don't spend a lot of hours mm -mm. on. Mm -mm. Um, and so they get 20 hours of training on nutrition. 20. So and it's like, get it done that, and get it over. I mean, what, they, what they are, they, they probably want the best for you, but it's really like give them some grace too. And don't feel bad about absolutely second opinions. And on it, and no, no pun intended, listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. Absolutely. If you like what you're doing is not working. Yes. Um, just kind of get another, get another round of opinions about it, right? Ask somebody who's absolutely well in nutrition and supplements because yes. the things that you're dealing with, if you do have health challenges, um, like I said, I mean, talk to your doctor, but just know that some of those things like lack of energy, brain fog, all that kind of stuff, much of that can be helped with healing your gut and taking Absolutely. the right supplements that your body's yeah. actually absorbing. And this one actually, um, that she's talking about, this one has a 97% to a hundred percent absorption rate as far as the nutrients when they go into your system. S um, statistically speaking, most supplements out there sold at like big box stores, other companies, bigger brands, they have a 2% to 10% absorption. Statistically Why speaking, bother? most of it, that's what I'm saying. Like y'all, yeah. it's literally always you, funny. So you totally get what you pay for. Like, feeling better, um, or at least knowing it's working, you'll, you'll tell, even if you don't have that whole rainbows and unicorns thing that she was talking about, you'll know, listen to oh, yeah. your intuition. You'll know yeah. something is different if you're really honest with yourself. Um, but, but give yourself time to let it work and don't sabotage it. Don't be taking uh, amazing supplements like these and then go on out there and drinking nine cups of coffee, four beers and a double Whopper. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. You're gonna sabotage it. It's not working. Yeah, um, it's not working. And also okay, baby, about the it's not working. <laughs> about the doctors as well. A little interesting note: their hands are so tied by insurance companies. Like um, they they can't like if you want to run some prophylactic blood work just to see like your insulin regulates your glucose. Um, if you're not going in and presenting like as a diabetic they may not be able to get the insurance to cover your fasting insulin. So wow. this just happened to me, like seriously. And I'm like, but your insulin regulates your glucose. So the doctors, um, they do want what's best for us. Um, but on the same note, like you want your cardiologist to know your heart. Um, they're not gonna necessarily know about how the food that you put into your body affects your health. And I tell my clients, like what you put on the end of your fork can either heal you or kill you. Wow. And you always have to supplement your food because like we said, the nutrition in our food just isn't there. Yeah. And it's not a bad thing to have to supplement. I would much rather supplement with this than have to spend my money on medication that 
is going to cause other problems. That's yeah. going to make me be on another medication. That's going to make me on another. I mean, it's just this downward Seriously. spiral of, yeah, like there's a medication for everything. But like you said, like we said before, our body knows what it's supposed to do. Yeah. You just have to coach up those areas that need a little bit of help. And who yeah. doesn't want to feel good all the time and function and be on and have focus? Yeah. I mean, everybody. That, that's, what, that's the way that we're meant to, to feel every single day. Yeah. Yeah. So this was really good. I'm so excited. We could literally, I know you. Oh I mean, my gosh. We could talk for a I know. She could do like a nine hour seminar on this oh, topic. Oh, right Lord, Lord. Beforehand, she was like, I'm totally going to geek out about this. Topic. I'm totally I'm like, geeking out. Fly, uh -huh. fly, girlfriend. Um, so we will <laughs> definitely do this again because I'm learning so much. And I take these supplements. All, all I know is that you do it in the morning and you feel great. I and don't know why. I don't know how the formula works. I don't know why it's such a massive difference in the stuff that I was taking before. Before, but all I know is it is is very different. It's way easier, and you can actually tell a difference. And it's really mm -hmm. affordable for normal people. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, so <clears throat> reach out if you have questions. You can always tag her, send her a friend request if you've got questions. She is absolutely happy to do online work with you if you're looking absolutely. for help in that area. Reach out to her. She's been a good friend of mine. I trust her. Um, so definitely reach out to her. And Christy, seriously, thank you so much for you are absolutely. so smart. So appreciate. You opening up your first brain. And oh yeah, right. <laughs> I'm fixing um, to go feed my second brain. Yes, yes, you too. With um, good food. So we will do this again for sure. But again, thank you guys for watching. If you found value in this, hit the share button. Send her a friend request. Thank you again so much, Christy. Um, and we will see you Absolutely. guys on another video. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good day.